Alrighty. Let's take a moment and listen to the birds. Maybe you can hear the traffic out back. It's 6.31 a.m. It is Victoria's birthday day plus one. It's actually her birthday date in America. It's one day after here in Australia. I want you to notice how different the world is. For us, it's a wet, rainy winter. For my folks back in the old country, it's a sunny, hot summer. Here the sun rises in the east and sets in the west, and hey, it does that up north too. Go figure. There's differences and there's similarities. So right now in the Law of Attraction by Neville Goddard Group, there's some fascinating discussion about getting the jab. Should I get it? Should I get get it? Some folks, it's required for their job. They don't want to lose because if they lose their job, they'll lose their house. Some folks want to keep their job but don't want to get the jab. Some folks are saying to imagine the jab is no big deal and just get it. Some people are saying if you get the jab, it means you don't believe. Oh, my God, the fascinating bits. And I brought up anchovies. See, I want you to notice how fast this works. I, honest to God, when we were going through the post, I imagined having pizza for dinner. Meanwhile, Victoria and I had already decided that we were having Thai for her birthday. Sorry, I screwed it up. I imagined her yum. And then after imagining her yum, a while later, I imagined anchovies. And the Thai place doesn't make pizza. Write that down. The Thai place doesn't make pizza. But meanwhile, back on the Law of Attraction by Neville Goddard, the COVID thing, just get the jab. Mr. 20, wouldn't you agree? I just love those comments. Wouldn't you agree? In other words, right, you're going to try to put baby in a corner? I don't think so. Because I don't have any interest in it. I don't. I have no interest in it. Some people are fascinated that I eat anchovies. Some people are upset that I take vitamins. Some people hate that I drink whiskey and smoke cigars. Some people don't like that I'm a business guy. Victor Goddard was a business guy. So was Neville, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, let that sink in. You see, I want you to notice, what does buying the pearl mean? Neville says, you can't buy the pearl if you... You see, do you got a backup plan? It's like, in case you're feeling it real doesn't work, you're using a vision board too. In case your vision board and you're feeling it real doesn't work, you're going to do affirmations about your vision board. My vision board works. My vision board works. My vision board works. And you have a picture of a million dollars on your vision board. And, well, I do I put a photo of me up there too, or do I just see it through my own eyes? It gets weird. Here's how I can tell when somebody hasn't bought the pearl. They get weird. They get weirded out. You see, I have no interest in the loogie, and I have no interest in the jab. I'm not at war against either one. I just don't care. I'm too busy. There are things that you're indifferent to. Most people are indifferent to whether or not I put anchovies on a pizza. Thank God. Because that's pretty much what it comes down to. For me to experience my yum with a pizza, I like anchovies on the damn thing. And if you and if you are a vegan and that upsets you, too bad. If you're a meat eater and that upsets you, too bad. Because you're imagining something that gets you upset about whether or not I eat anchovies or if I get the jab. But Mr. 20, unless we have 85% herd immunity, we're going to have the loogie for a long time. I have people tell me this. And I say, you know, we had a bad loogie about 100 years ago. Since then, we've had a whole bunch of other loogies. If you do some research, I just bothered to one day how many pandemics how many epidemics how many people died 
How many other pandemics are there in the world right now? How many epidemics? Oh, my God. If you do some research, it could scare you if you don't buy the pearl. See, most people don't do research because they haven't bought the pearl. Research scares them, so they hide from it, and they call that a mental diet. See, a mental diet isn't about what you don't eat. A mental diet is about what you do. Consume. A mental diet is about what you consume and what consumes you. If you're hiding from the news but imagining that bad news is out there, it doesn't matter if you hide from the news. If you watch the news and get it's all entertainment, and it all follows what's being imagined, you found freedom. I'm not a fan of hiding from the news. I'm not a fan of waiting to invest. I'm not a fan of the endless excuses that people make up to be upset. It seems to me that most people, in order to prove they exist, write this down. It seems like most people, in order to prove they exist, they imagine up upsets in their life, in other words, drama and trauma, and they imagine up argumentation. I'm going to be an argumentation against something, Mr. Twenty. I'll find out what. But you know people that go through every day. They are traumatized. They are dramatized. They are looking for arguments here, looking for arguments there just to prove they exist. And the core of Neville's teaching comes back to I am. Unconditioned awareness, your awareness of being is God. Neville said that, I agree. Consciousness is the only reality. He said that too. (laughs) And I agree, not just to agree, but that's what I notice. I also notice that how you are aware of money determines how money shows up in your life and how much. How you're aware of anchovies determines how they show up in your life and how much. How you're aware of the jab and how it shows up and how much. (laughs) Basic Neville gang. And here's the thing. You may or may not get sick along the way. So many people, they're going, I will not get the loogie, I will not get the loogie. It becomes like a mantra, an obsession, something they get in orbit around. See, I imagine living a long time and having a lot of fun. Can you tell? I've got a lot of energy and I'm having a lot of fun. Doesn't mean I don't get grumpy once in a while. But here's the thing, guys. I've imagined up. I've assumed the state of the wish fulfilled. Someone who's lived a long time and has had a lot of fun. I've imagined my last breath on Earth. Whew, that was fun. Time for the next adventure. See you there. You see, that imaginal act has me not care about whether or not you take vitamins or eat anchovies, drink beer, get the jab. I don't care. Because there's one cause about how things show up in your experience. Remember, Neville says creation is finished. You don't have to whip up a whole new world. Neville says your imaginal experience determines what portion of the pie you put on your plate. Those are my words, not his. But what portion of the pie do you want to eat? You can have all crust if you want to. You can have all filling, too. It could be raw pie. It could be frozen pie. It could be burnt pie. Some people love getting burnt pies all the time, and they say, this pie is burnt. must have been a man or a woman that made it. I hate men or women. You know, I once had a man or a woman in my life. And you see, they always treat me bad. They always burn my pie. See, you can do that if you want to. You could also join us in ManifestingMasteryCourse.com if you want to. $97, 90-day program. Some people, when they think 90 days, they go, Oh, my God. Well, maybe I'll wait because I don't know what will happen for the next 90 days. See, I know what will happen for the next 90 days because of how I play. So I'm inviting you. Play with us. Play like us. ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. That's like a dollar a day. Think about this. I know. Money's tight, Mr. Twenty. You don't understand. Yeah, I do. I've grown up when money was tight. I was an adult when money was tight. And then I imagined to start investing wildly and wonderfully. Neville says to invest your time, your money, your imaginal act. Why not? ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. If you've done that and you want to explore identity-based manifesting... That one's going like hotcakes right now. I think a lot of people are tired of the identity of 
Well, they're just tired of some old identities. They don't want to go back to the way things were. They want to move on to something even more fun. Think about that. So many people nowadays, two years ago, they were bitching. And now they're going, I want to go back. I want it to go back to the way it was. See, I'm eagerly looking forward because I know who I am and how this works. Alrighty. Manifesting to the max.com if you've done the other and you want to dive into identity based manifesting really deep you'll notice i live from three primary states all day long loving teacher loving husband loving puppy dad you see none of them really has concern about the jab none of them really has concern about whether or not you eat anchovies take vitamins drink whiskey or bourbon oh my god some people anyway some people i want you to have more fun by the way i know a lot of you listen to a lot of people you tell me about it. I want you to notice how much fun they're having. I really do. I want you to notice how much fun they're having. <laughs> and I invite you to have more fun. Alrighty. And for those who share the show, those who share their lives with us, sharing is caring. Honest to God, I love answering my emails in the morning. I love finding them in the spam. I've been finding Gmail's been aggressive lately. I've been finding more and more good emails in my spam box, pulling them out and responding, apologizing, because I, I, I get back to people the same day they write usually. And when I find one in spam that's a couple days old, I go, that ain't that ain't good. But I love writing back, because sharing is caring, you know? You guys share your lives with us once every seven days like we request. Some of y'all do. Some don't. That's fine. Uh, but we love to get to know you. We get to love to celebrate in your successes, your shifts, your wins. And for those that share the shows, the podcasts, we really appreciate that. Somebody shared something, that's how you got to listen to this. Go forth, share, dive deeper. We'll catch you in manifestingmasterycourse.com. See ya.